thank you, thank you. So I have a question for each of you guys. I know time is limited, so I, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Okay. Uh, first up, Patricia, you know, considering the success of the first film um, and the existing rapport with the returning cast, was it at all daunting for you to like accept a role or take on a project like this? Um, it was exciting. I was, I was thrilled. And because I know the work of all these women, and and I was I, I was so happy that I was going to get to work with them, and uh, I was yeah I was a little nervous because um, you know, they're who they are, yeah. and uh, so I was a little nervous, but it, it's okay because my character is the outsider in the group and a little uncomfortable in the beginning, and she shot sequentially, which was really helpful, and uh, so the, as my character gets more comfortable and closer bonded connecting to the girls um i did too so um uh that that was a sad thing at the end when the week was over i was kind of like mm -hmm. i want to come back and do this more <laughs> <laughs> well excellent appreciate appreciate that you know uh linda with with uh chantilly lace you worked from an outline to kind of extract that that improv vibe you know from your actors uh from your performers um, obviously it worked really well the first time around. Uh, did you approach this film the same way? And, you know, typically what's the response you get when, when you approach performers with that? Jesse, first of all, performers love the freedom. I've done 25 films, five of them. This is the fifth one that uses more of, it's not a great word improvisation to describe what we do. It's more yeah. Real collaboration on every level, from the script and the character to the dialogue sometimes. I mean, I always have as a writer, you know, a line that I call a button to the scene that I have in my back pocket if we do something that, and we know where we're going at every sort of step of the way. But I couldn't write such rich, seven such rich characters. And, and I'm, I, I'm a pretty good writer. And so when I turned it over to the writer, to the writers being the actors, some magic always comes out and it flows. And I'm able uh, in the editing room to combine the uh, scripted and the you know, improvised pretty seamlessly. So it's- awesome. the, Yeah, it sounds like uh, actually uh, quite the difficult task to kind of make those work in the in the um i guess once you get into post-production I'm, I'm happy to hear that it works really well um, it's longer it takes a long <laughs> time <laughs> yeah i can imagine uh and jill you work with linda on both films and you've been quoted saying that working on uh lace was a week-long therapy session um <laughs> despite you know filming this one in 20 degree weather can you say it was a similar experience for you yeah, we, we, if, any, if anything, we went even deeper with each other. We also lived together in the same house. So we, you know, we, we got to know each other in a sort of an intensive, an intensive getting to know where each of us is now. And um, we've all gone on very separate paths, as have our characters gone on very separate paths. Yeah. Um, but we, we have a, a really strong bond from that first experience. And actually I've worked with Linda on three films because oh. I worked on parallel lives as well. Different character, different people. But um, I, I, this process is really something and I think there are mag there's magic that comes out of it. And um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm excited about, about being able to be part of the creation of the film as well as Part, as, as well as enacting it, you know, and that's what Linda allows me to do. So this is this is really special. Yeah, you know, Linda, also, you know, speaking of how special these films are, I, I've noticed a lot of people in the comments for the, the trailer of the new film, and even watching the old trailer, uh, you know, everyone wants, you know, a lace to be re-released on DVD, Blu-ray. It seems to be lost on, on uh, VHS. You know, with with this one being released, is there any chance that we get like a updated release or maybe like a double disc set? Absolutely. Great idea. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a great idea. Absolutely. You know, we're in discussions now with a lot of people who wanted to and the rights just returned to me in time to make the movie and use the clips. So now is a good time to release it. And it's just as we just got to see it in the retrospective of my work. And it was just as powerful and, and a lot of fun. But we, we think this one's a little bit better. Yeah. 
That one was crappy. Because we've only gotten better, all of us, including our, our leader, yeah. Yeah. older and wiser. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, jumping from older and wiser, you know, we have a newcomer here on this one. We have uh, Nyjah Sky in the mix this time around. You know, how important was it to introduce some some young blood into the mix? And ultimately, what was it like working with her, um, everybody? Well, so lovely. I was going to say that with my story, what I wanted to tell, I wanted to, the young to inform the old and the old to inform the young. And she starts off very brash and, and know it all and whatnot. And over the course of the film, she, I think you get a sense that she does start to meld into the group and learn and respect them. And the women learn things that they hadn't thought about from hearing her perspective on the world. So that's the way I, you know, I, I look at the world today in real life, too. Awesome. Yeah, and I, 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 when we started out, I, I was feeling a little... Um, you know, I was feeling that distance from Naji, you know, for, as the as the as the character, and I was not sure how to, you know, warm it up, warm it up, and see what. Even though we had a history, you know, in the film, but we we just got to know each other, and um, I just love that scene where she tells us what happened with her boss because she's so powerful in it, and and it's got a lot of, a lot of resonance for a lot of us, and I think my character, you know, obviously something like that happened to her too and and it was um you know um it was a real it was a real coming together it was wonderful i wish she were here to speak with you because she talks so eloquently about like what a treat for her as a young actress with not, not that much experience to be you know with sort of these titans and to pick up and and and, and that they weren't like bossy or controlling or things that she might have imagined but really opened the door for her to be her own expressive self. So. You know, it's scary stuff. You know, going into a scene where you know that you're gonna, you, you, you don't, you don't have the roadmap exactly, and you gotta figure it out and see if you're gonna respond, uh, it, or, you know, authentically. And and I, she was nervous. She was nervous, in the but she did such a great job. She did. Yeah, I, you know, I, I was a little nervous for this interview. I, I, I don't typically get nervous, but, you know, I, I have, you know, some, some, like you said, some Titans looking back at me. And, you know, Patricia, especially, like, you're like my mom in a weird way. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was expecting, like, to come on here and hear, like, oh, Brad. So I... <laughs> <laughs> So I just want to. I'm kind of like your grandma, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you're my honorary mom, so I'll, I'll do whatever whatever works for you guys. <laughs> but um, here at Synodump, we let the doers know how they're doing, and you ladies are doing just fine. You know, I might not be the target audience, but I do love these films. So thank you guys for you know putting in the work, and you know keep on making them, and we'll keep watching them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Of course. Thank you.